Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go back into our storyboard. And what we want to do is add a collection view on our feed view controller. So I'm just going to wait until that pops up. All right, so let me just close some of this stuff here. This is going to be our feed, our feed view controller. So what we want to do is add the collection view here. So I'm just going to type collection view. I'm just gonna drag that all the way there. I think that's good. And I'm just going to do a, this auto layout. We want it to stretch here. And stretch here, stretch here. Okay. So now that we have this, we're not actually going to use this layout for the cell. We're going to create a nib file um, to be our cell. So get back to one. We're just going to get rid of this cell. All right, so now we have this blank collection view. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new file. So file, new, file. And I'm just going to create our cell. So our feed view cell. Feed collection view cell. How about that? And I'm also going to create the nib file. So I'm just going to say, and I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that, but whatever. Just going to create that. I'm going to create. All right, so now I have this nib file and I also have this Swift file that cor that is a, well it corresponds with this nib. So the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of design this how I think a post should look. So I'm just gonna stretch it out a little bit. More like something like that. Seems about right. I'm gonna drop some image views in here. Let me just bring it all the way to the end. Bring it all the way to the end here. Okay. And I'm just going to do another this auto layout here probably use more space for this. I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need another image view here to display our profile photo. Ah. Okay. Let me scroll that back up. And we're just gonna make this kind of small in this corner maybe like a 52 by 52, put that there. And then we are going to just want to do the same thing we did there. That makes sense to me. And then let's go ahead and put a label for our username. And I'm just gonna drop that here and just stretch that out to here. And this is going to be on this side. And I'm also going to say that I want this font to be a little smaller than what it is. Medium, and then let's just bring it down to like that, maybe 14. Okay, so this is the cell, this is the cell of, a. Uh, this is the layout of a post. All right, so let's make sure that this is all connected. There we go. Okay, so the feed is already there. So let's go ahead and open that, the class. I'm just gonna get rid of some of the stuff that we don't need just to clear up some space. All right, and just what I'm going to do here uh, automatic. There we go. And I'm just gonna drag in 
our profile image, our label, user label, and last but not least, our post image. All right, so I have everything linked up there. So let's go ahead and jump back into our feed control. Now we have to actually link up our collection view that we just set up in our main storyboard to this class. So I don't need this anymore. Let's see, automatic feed view control, okay. So I'm just going to drag this into here. Actually, I probably want this the other way around. Just get rid of that. Select this, get the code right next to it. And what I wanna do is I just want to go all the way to the top and just add a connection to this collection view. So I'm just gonna drag this in here. And we're gonna say this is our feed collection view. Okay, so we'll have to actually do a couple things in order to use this. So let's go ahead and set that up. So I'm just gonna close out some of this stuff. It's just getting kind of crowded here. I won't need this anymore, at least for the time being. So I'm just going to just look at the feed view controller and set up there. So like I said, we have our feed collection view and we also have our feed cells here, as well as our feed class. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're going to want to make that collection view that we have here. We want to make that our, actually the main storyboard. We want to make this class, our feed view controller, our data source and our delegate. Okay. So now that we did that, we want to add a couple class or super classes here, which is one is going to be UI uh, collection view delegate and UI collection view data source. Now we have a couple things that's gonna yell at us because we need to implement a couple of functions in order to use this. So I'm just gonna control click that and I'm just gonna scroll down to our protocol. So these are the ones that we need to add. Mm, I'll think about it. Okay, so let me go ahead and jump back into our feed. So I'm just going to down here after I've done all this stuff, I'm just gonna add these functions. Well, actually, no, we're, we're gonna want to create some type of array. So let's do that. So we have this information here, but we're just printing it now. What we actually want to do is store this to an array. So let's create an array up here. And that's our class of posts. So we haven't actually started creating posts from uh, this information that we're receiving back from Firebase. So we're just gonna jump right back down here where we're getting all the values and we're gonna create a new post. So new post is going to be equal, it's gonna be a type post, our post class. And it's going to be equal to post and then it should pop up with our method here. Let me see if I can make this easier to view, just squeeze this in a little bit. Okay, so we have all of our values here. So I'm just gonna grab each one, our profile URL. So I think I said it's feed array dot append. We wanna append a new element, which is going to be new post. We're just going to actually make this our feed post or feed array dot count. So how many we have in this array? So it should be seven as we've seen before. Now, I want to do another, I'm gonna actually add another function here 
and it's going to be number of sections and I'm just going to return one. Okay. I'm just going to convert these to all strings and I'm sure the last one wants the same treatment and then self. Okay. Okay. So back down here, we need to get access to that cell that we created here. So this fee view cell by, and what I'm going to do is just say, let cell equal feed view, v collection view dot the Q reusable with identifier. Now we have to actually set up our identifier. Now I'm just going to just do that up top since that shouldn't necessarily change or maybe it should, but let's just do it anyway. Let me just give some space and just say, let cell identifier cell identifier equal cell. Cause I believe we set that up for our cell. Let me just make sure. Okay, so I'm going to go back and it's still crying about this. Let's make sure that the pod is in there. Oh, our pods. It's definitely in there. So I'm not just going to worry about it just, just for now. I'm just going to ignore that. Okay. Cell. We're gonna with reuse identifier cell identifier for index path. Okay, and now what we want to do is we're gonna want to have this as this feed collection view class. So as our feed collection view cell. Okay. So now we can go ahead and start placing some of the data into our, start placing some of the data into our um, cell. So let's go and say cell dot, let me just clean this really fast. There we go. All right, so now let's go ahead and set some of our images. All right, so now we have our cell, our profile image. We're using SD um, set image to load the item in the feed array that corresponds to the profile pick into that UI. So let's go ahead and just do that one more time because we know that the post, I'm just gonna go come down here and I'm just gonna comment this. We're gonna load the profile picture. And then here we're going to be loading, load the post picture. And I'm just gonna switch this up because instead of profile pic, we just need to do post, post image view. We're gonna load it with the post image. Okay, so let's make sure that we didn't do anything silly. We also want to 
go ahead and load, let's see, make sure I have enough. One, two, three. Mm, we don't, we have, we're missing one. There we go. Mm, missing one there too. All right, so, or am I not missing? Let's see, one, one, two, three. That closes off that with placeholder image, this. So why do I need more than that here? So one, two, feed array, post image. There we go. And get rid of this one here. Okay, looks good. So now I gotta just grab the username as well. Load username, cell dot uh, user label dot text label dot text is going to be equal to my array or feed and feed array dot or index path for row and it's going to be the username. All right, so let me see, make sure all this makes sense to me. Dot image. I don't think I need that. There we go. Yep, oh, there we go. All right, so if all things worked, we should be able to play this and actually get something back. So let's try it. Uh, we forgot to do one thing. So let's go back up here to the view did load and we need to set, let's see. In the view did load, we're gonna do all this stuff and then we're going to say that our Did we even grab Firebase? We did, we, we do have access to Firebase, but we do need to add this as the feed controller. So self dot uh, feed view collection dot da data source is equal to self and then self dot feed collection view dot delegate is equal to self. And I think after that, we should be good. So let's try and run, well, let's try to run this again. Okay guys, so that's where we're gonna stop in this video. And in our next video, we will actually be testing this out, loading the data from Firebase and seeing if everything works. I hope that this video was helpful to you. Um, if you have any suggestions or comments, leave that below. Please subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.